Jack, can I get your signature there, mate? Oi! Wake up, Australia. Oh, sorry, sorry mate. Bad news? Uh, no, no, no. It's uh, Molly. She's coming to town. So is this good news or bad news? Joe, these two go back to when they're in nappies. Yeah, no, if they go back, that's not the point. So? There are some things you just can't go back to. Yeah, I know. So why's she coming to town, mate? Uh, uh she's uh, said something about us getting back together. Maybe she never got over the old Lawson charm, Yeah, eh? probably. <laughs> Dead. Stupid bastard. So what do you know about it, Dougie? Nothing. Looks like he blew himself up. So? He burnt the house down cooking up drugs. Which is easy to do if you mix the wrong chemicals. Nothing to do with me. Oh, come on, Dougie. Mitch is a mate of yours. He sets up a speed lab. What, he doesn't tell you about it? I don't know anything about it. Well, a cook-up is a pretty big operation and he didn't do this on his own. Look! And you have got form, my friend. Look, Mitch might have mentioned it to me. I told him I wasn't interested. That's the truth. Drug squad are on their way up. To investigate this, if you won't tell us, you can talk to them and you know how persistent they can be. I might have heard him say something. I didn't tell you this, right? I can't make any promises. I did hear that Mitch was talking to someone about setting up a lab. Mm -hmm. And we need a name. Graham Palmer. Where'd you go, Dougie? Uh, we got a name, Graham Palmer. Palmer? I thought he'd gone back to Melbourne. No. I'll go and pick him up if you want. Yeah, I'll take Doyle when she's finished in here. Yeah, sure. uh, we've got an address as well. Parish, put a keeper look out for on Palmer, will you? Yeah, right. We still on for tonight, Joe? Mudlock's work, yeah, sure. Why? No reason. Stretch, your love life is none of my business, all right? I don't know, Ben. I think it'd be really hard to walk away from someone who'd been so much part of your life. Even if there's interest with somebody else? Yeah, but there's a shared history there. I mean, Jack might think that he's over Molly, but I don't know. And it's Palmer's car. Yep. Mount Thomas 253 to VKC. Go ahead, Mount Thomas 253. We are in pursuit of Palmer heading east on Ketcher's Gorge Road. Yeah, he's just turned into the St David's Road. We're heading south in pursuit towards Melbourne. Well, if the St David's three, unit can set up a roadblock here, he's got nowhere to go. There's nothing but dead ends all the way to the Diggers Reef exit. Yeah, he's going way too fast. 130. He's all over the road. 140. No, we're going to have to terminate this pursuit. Maggie, watch out. Pico set him out, Thomas 253. Mount Thomas 253. Mount Thomas 900 to VKC. Go ahead, 900. Mount Thomas 509 is just leaving the station en route to the last. Receive that. VKC to Mount Thomas 253. Come on, Maggie. Are you all right? Yeah. I can't get this door open, mate. Right? Get out this way and I'll give you a hand. Are you sure you're going to be okay? Yeah. Oh, my God. You get on the radio. I'll check the bus. Stay calm. We're going to get you some help. Just stay calm. We'll be back in a minute. Mount Thomas 253 to VKC. Mount Thomas, the radio's dead. Oh, God, we need backup. All the exits are blocked. What about the door? It's all mangled. OK, well, I'm going to go and check on Palmer. I'm going to see if there's a mobile phone in the Good car. Good idea. I'll keep this lot calm. All right, try and stay still for me and we'll get you out of here soon. Try and stay still for me. Oh. Oh. Okay. Still a few minutes from the last reported location. 
Mount Thomas Station, Constable. Maggie. You are, you both are? It's great. Uh, what is it? What's happened? Get us out of here! All right, mate. Get us out. We will. We're doing our best. Just help us, please. We've got some help on its way. It won't be long. It won't be long. Okay, just sit tight, will you? Look, I've got this lady down here. I've managed to staunch the bleeding, out. but I'm going to need more bandages and some painkillers, like morphine. You a doctor? I'm a nurse. Great. Can you can you give us any idea of numbers in there? To tell us the chaos in here. There's at least three or four dead and, and lots of injured. We can't hold on much longer. Okay. Hey, bastards! Mate, uh, get us down! Oh, no, I'm white off, mate! It's all right, just cut him down. Get out, mate. Take it easy. Get Take off it easy. Get away from me, mate! Talk, I need to talk oh, to this fella. Oh, it's all right. Get out. We're going to get you out. We're going to get you out. It's going to be all right. <laughs> Any big bad footballers, they're worse than a lot. Footballers? Yeah, some hick football team aboard the Mudhawks or Mudlarks or something like that. <laughs> all right, Maggie, we'll find out what we can from this end. Bye. I thought the mudlarks had chartered the bus. Well, they had, but it broke down, so they got on the scheduled service. There wasn't enough room for all of them, so half of them are coming back tomorrow. People are going to be beside themselves. Everyone in town's connected to that team somehow. Oh, boss, there was a uh, mudlarks uh, bash on at the Imperial this afternoon. Well, you better get down there right away. Well, these guys are my mates. I should be out there. I know how you feel, but right now I need you to compile a list of everybody who was on that bus and who's still in Melbourne. I'm going out to the scene. Mount Thomas 209 to VKC. Go ahead, 209. Code five at the last. Um, it's a hell of a mess out here. I'll give you a sit rep in a moment. Hello. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Where are these ambulances? Um, they're coming. They're on their way. Do you have any idea? Seriously, seriously. Everyone's doing everything they can. What about the back? No good, there's a toilet in there. Tom Croydon here. He's on his way, sir. Well, who's in charge? Uh, Acting Sergeant Stewart. We've just been doing everything we can until everyone gets here. What's the situation with the bus? We've got a, got a spill down here, but it's diesel, so it's not going to go on us. So you're an expert in what's combustible, eh? OK, Ian, Jerry. Right. Get the lights. Have you seen the car overturned on the bank? Um, SES and CFO. Okay, I just rocked up. Get up and check on the car for me. I'm just going to give Ben a hand. Ben? Maggie, I just heard that there were some of the right. muddies on this Yeah, bus. that's right. Do you have any idea? Look, let's just concentrate and get him out of here. Yeah, of course. It's, it's just my boy Dan. He was on the end of the season trip. I'm sorry, Sam. I just don't know. Jerry, put the marquee up this way. Watch the glass. Okay, one at a time. Nurse? Yep. What's the light down there, mate? You're only going to get half of them out like this. The rest are stretcher cases. Thank Christ. Oh, Keep moving. Oh, Gotta get everyone out. Wait a second. Got a ladder coming in. Oh, Brent. You've seen Dan. Uh, Dan? No, I don't know whether he's on this bus. <laughs> get a good footing in there. Okay. Come on out. Keep moving. Keep moving. You all right? There's some bandages down there. Has anybody seen Dan Walker? Dan Walker, has anyone seen Dan Walker? My arm! All right, hold still. My arm! Hold still, right, Will. Get you. You're coming, matey. I think it's busted. <laughs> I think it's busted. What's your name, mate? Steve. OK, Steve, we're going to get you out of here. Take it easy. Got you. OK, take it easy. Come on, mate. Doing really well. Really well, mate. And Mickey. That's it. And Jim. What about Jimmy O'Farrell? I don't know. I haven't seen him. He was definitely on the bus. Joe, we've got two more, no ID. Can I Dan Walker to the list? Sam, I'm very sorry. Why don't you come and sit no, down? I have to get back there. I have to get these You've people done out. You all right? I'm fine. What happened? We'd already terminated our pursuit. Palmer was all over the road. He was on the wrong side of the road. The bus was travelling in the opposite direction. He swerved to miss Palmer. We got out of its way and I thought it had kept on going and passed us, but... Drive must have steered. 
Oh, yeah, I'm going to give you the pass. Yeah, you're all right. Is Sue all right? Yes, brother. Bring me up to speed, Barry. Um, ben and Maggie are still helping the fireys and SES get everyone off the bus. Do we know how many casualties at this stage? Um, they're still trying to get the walking wounded off. Those, those guys reckon there are dead people everywhere. Tom, Russ, high-speed chasers, eh? When will you people learn? Let's just wait until the accident investigation section gets here before we start apportioning blame, shall we? Then why were you chasing him anyway? Unpaid parking fines. Look, Russ, I haven't got time for this. I'm going to be taking over from Acting Sergeant Stewart as incident controller. Uh, all I need you to do is stay right out of my way, make sure there is no danger of a fire on board this bus, and get on with it, all right? We found another one. She's alive. Where the hell is a doctor? One of you want to come and give me a hand? Did anyone see a bloke who's in his early 40s, about so high as sandy hair, he's a nurse? I know who you mean. Yeah? Yeah, he fits his sleeve. Oh. You know where he is? Yeah. That's him over there. What's your name again, mate? Uh, Rod Norton. Rod, we need your help on the bus immediately. Come with me, please. Uh -oh. Denise, we'll have you out of here very soon, I promise. Uh, why don't you try thinking about something else for me, OK? <laughs> Home, coming. Oh, so you're from around here then? <coughs> Mom, Mom, no, not here anymore. I have to look out. <coughs> I, I should be there. Just, Denise, you stay still for me, and if you can tell us where she is, we'll get someone to go and look in on her, all right? But right now, I want you to concentrate on staying very still for me, and I promise you, we'll have you out of here very soon. Denise? This is Rod, and he's a qualified nurse. <laughs> Are they all identified? Yeah. Sam, I'm really sorry about Daniel. He was going down to Melbourne next week. <laughs> Not enough work for him up here. Okay, anyone who doesn't need to be here, can you move out? Excuse me, I'm Senior Sergeant Croydon, Mount Thomas Police. You're... Oh, Mel Carter, I'm a doctor. Oh, thank God for that. Where the hell are the ambulances? Well, the one from Mount Thomas has been caught on the other side of town. Which one? Too long. You've got one ambulance on its way? As I was about to say, there are others coming from St David's. They should be here any minute. Anything you want, Doctor, just tell us. We'll do our best to give it to you. OK, well, Braille's not my specialty. Some work lights would be nice. OK, more lights in here. Uh, on the the driver of the car is in a pretty bad way, and we've still got some critically injured people on board the bus. Who have you got with them? Senior Constable Doyle, but one of the passengers is a trained nurse and he's with her. All right, tell him I'll be right with him. Yeah. Boss, we're one passenger short. What? According to the bus company, there were 48 passengers. So far, we've had 38 walk offs, six dead, and three seriously injured. It's only 47. Can anybody hear it? Is there anybody here? Maybe it's all a mistake. <sighs> Hello? Anyone there? Ben? Over here. Yeah. Sam, come this way, mate. Okay. It's all right. All right. You're all right. Get this on. Yep. One, two. <coughs> ben, it's Molly. Jack. Molly? Jack. Heart rate's 140. Respirations are 24. Do you know how to use a hemocell drip? Yeah. Get one from the Ambos. Okay, Molly, I want you to squeeze my hand really hard, okay? Good girl. Good strong squeeze. That's a good sign, right? I really don't know. We won't know until we get the rest of this stuff off her. Sam, give us a hand, mate. What are they doing? That's okay, Molly. They're gonna get this stuff off. We'll get you out to the hospital. I'll tell you what, Jack. He's going to be very happy to see you. He talks about you all the time. Oh, work. Yeah. I came down early. OK, Sam. Go! <laughs> it's not unusual for the pain to kick in after the weight's been lifted off. Molly, I've yep. given you something for the pain. It'll start working really yeah, soon, OK? Yeah. OK, Doc, can we get her out of here? Yeah. And not just yet. Molly! 
Lawson. Lawson. No, no, Molly's don't, in there. Don't Molly's in there and panic her. Jack! 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 Just, get out just prepare yourself. It's not good. Molly? Jack! Jack! Excuse me, do you have to be here? I know. Well, the best thing you can do for her now is to give me some room. She's being looked after. I, I'm a fiance. Oh, can't argue with that. And let's not turn this into a police convention, okay? Mate, mate. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jack. I didn't know you were happy to no, see you. No, no, it's like, it's like, of course I am. Sorry. Of course I'm happy to see you. Of course I'm happy to see you. What's going on? Why is it she on her way to hospital? Take it easy. She's impaled on a piece of metal that's anchored to the floor. Oh, well, can't we just lift her off? Not without the risk of severe internal bleeding. We're gonna have to cover her. I know he was supposed to stay in town, but when he asked me for a lift, I couldn't refuse. Don't worry, I probably would have done the same thing myself. Now the relatives hold him up. Some of them have had awful news, but others are waiting and, and hoping. It's like everybody's worst nightmare. Yeah. Look, I'd better get back to it. You'd better get back to town. Eh? Tom, I can't. I, you know, half the team, they're, they're kids of friends. You know, I've watched them grow up. There's got to be something that I can do. Chris, really? I... Please? Why don't you ask one of the SES people? I'm sure there'll be something. Thanks. Okay, Molly? Just think that this is a great big can opener. You're going to have to move out of the way. So. No, please, yeah. Jack. It's okay, I'll be right here. I'll be right okay, here. Mom. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Look, these guys, Molly, these guys have got to cut you out to get you to hospital. It's all right. It's all right. Everything's going to be all right. Oh, I know. I know. I know. It's okay. So these guys, they do this sort of thing all the time. They know exactly what they're doing. You've just got to stay very still. I promise they won't hurt you. Have I have a broken promise to you? Am I? I have to you. Oh, well, that's history. That's history now. Don't worry about that. Let's just get you out of here for now. Okay. Sergeant Croydon here, Mr. Palmer. How can I help you? Uh, you got you to gotta stop. Stop what? The bus. The bus. What about the bus? The chemicals. Chemicals? chemicals. Uh, are you saying there are chemicals on the bus? Hello. For the lab? Hello. Are you talking about chemicals for an amphetamine lab? Oh, stop God, oh, Ben! What? Ben! Uh, Palmer reckons there are chemicals on board to start an amphetamine lab. Uh, One spark, the whole thing could go sky high. What the hell? Get everybody back. It's going to warm these guys. Yeah. What, you want to be inside that bus when those chemicals go up? Rust, for God's sake. Doyle, Parrish, I need Tell you to Tell me we want to get out of there. Get everybody yes, back. Yes, we will. Sam, shut it down. What's happening? Shut it down. Be back in a second. Shh. Shh. What's going on? Some bastard has brought volatile chemicals on board the bus. Now, that means that we can't cut her out, because one spark from that thing could set this place up. I don't care about any chemicals. We've got to get her out. He's right. If we're going to do it, we have to do it soon. That piece of metal's probably pierced major organs. And Dr. What if it has? We have to get her onto an operating table pronto. Or what? You turn it back on. You tell him to turn, you tell him to turn it back on. Jack, I'm sorry. We can't turn it back on now. We can't do it. All right, Molly. We'll be back in a sec. Of course. We have to get Molly out of there. Yeah. Look, I can understand you can serve. No, if we don't, 
She's gonna die. Jack, it's too dangerous. Look, look around you. We can't afford to put all these people look, at risk. I, I, Think about it. I'll, I'll, I'll go and I'll cut her out myself. I don't mind. Jack, I'll cut her out Jack, myself. Jack. I don't mind putting I'm just putting myself at risk. Look, we don't know the quantity of chemicals or their exact composition, but if they were running an amphetamine lab, that stuff is highly unstable at the best of time. We can't just leave her in there, boss. I know. You're talking to the wrong bloke, son. I'm in charge here, and you're not going anywhere. Come on, Cavill. Who, who, who are you? Who are you? How are going? I'm just doing my job, like you're so fond of saying, Tom. This is not a police matter now. I'm taking over here as incident controller until I can ensure that that uh, bus is safe. Boss! I'm afraid it's out of my hands. I want everyone off that bus. That girl this, stays where she is. This is crap. I don't have to listen to this crap. I don't have to listen to your crap, crap mate. Mate. Jack! Going back in Jack! Jack! You can't control your own people, can you, Croyd? And Pulse is fine. She's just asleep. Probably the best thing for her anyway. We need to get her out of here, don't we? You guys set a date yet? I'm sorry? The wedding. You know, you said you're engaged. Um, no, no. What about you? you... Uh, married, two kids, a full catastrophe. <laughs> How is she? Is she all right? She's asleep now. You were instructed to leave the bus. No, no, sorry, no way. I'm not going anywhere, not till they get her out of here. What about you, Mr... Uh, Norton? Rod Norton. No, I reckon I'll stay with Jack. It could be extremely dangerous. How's she gonna feel when she wakes up and finds out we've deserted her? Well, unfortunately, Russ Cavill's in charge now. Look, that... He can make it in order, and you could even put me on a charge if you want. You could even throw me off this job, but I'm not going anywhere, not without Molly. I'll flatten anybody who tries to get me off this bus. Even you. What is this? Uh, it's a cup of tea. You gave this to a patient? Well, yeah, I was asked to hand them around. Asked to? Yeah. Who the hell are you anyway? This is Chris Riley. Uh, she, she's just trying to help, and she knows everyone in town, so she might be able to help you too. So can I help you? Yeah. Do absolutely nothing. Look, this man may well have to go under surgery. We don't need tea sloshing around inside him. Please stick to what you know, okay? I'm sorry, I didn't... Look, I'm sure you meant well, but the last thing I need are well-meaning amateurs. Because I'm sure she didn't mean it that way. Look, she's absolutely right. I should leave it to the professionals. It's just that I need to do something. I know, I know. Yes? Chris Riley? Denise! What are you doing here? Oh, sorry, it's a stupid question. Are you okay? Everyone off the bus? Everybody except Lawson and the nurse. Oh, I thought you were dealing with this crew. Lawson has known this girl all his life. I issued a directive. It's your job to follow it. So you keep telling me. The bus could go up at any minute. And it could be perfectly stable. Lawson is just trying to show the girl some stuff about Lawson. You know, much is obvious. I am going to make a full report about your lack of cooperation and that young smartass. Lawson won't leave the bus and I can't make him. Oh, I can't or won't? If we can find the chemicals and get them off the bus, then we can cut the girl out. Oh, so you're, you're going to put everyone at risk just to save one life? Surely we can move everybody back to a safe perimeter. Yeah, well, I am not going to put any of my men at risk. You're talking for your men, Cavill, or for yourself? We don't really have any choice. We've got to find these chemicals and move them. And where do we start? Well, the logical place would be the luggage compartment. Well, we can't get to it, can we? If we get on top, we can pass the bags out one by one. You do realise exactly what we're talking about, don't you? Well, if we don't do something soon, we're not going to get Molly out. It's extremely dangerous. I can't make this an order under the circumstances. You don't have to, boss. No, I'll do it. I mean... Tom, if you're searching the bus, I'd like to help. Well, it's really good of you, Sam, but I don't think... Please. A boy's dead if I can save the girl. All right, thanks. OK, what we'll do is we'll get the luggage out and move it as far away from the bus as we can and clear the area. We're looking for something like an esky or a hard case containing plastic bottles. Now, listen, yep. if anybody doesn't want to do this, for God's sake, say so now. Your wife and kids wouldn't be too happy about you risking your life like this. Well, if this fuel line or whatever it is does blow, then you know, it's more than the fuel line. It doesn't matter. If anything does happen, at least my family will know that I went fast. No suffering. Comforting thought. Sorry. I'm worth more to them dead than alive anyway. Is that all you think you are to them, a meal ticket? Wasn't even a very good meal ticket. You know how much a nurse gets paid? About the same as coppers. Used to work in the oncology ward, helping patients through their treatments. Holding their hands sometimes as they die. Sounds like they're going in. Gee, they hope they don't find my dirty laundry spread everywhere. 
Sorry, mate, but I'm glad you're around tonight. So am I. That's what I'm here for. Taking care of people. Except no one's gonna die here. Something to drink, a glass of water, maybe. Look, I don't think the doctor wants you to have anything just in case. Just in case, just in case. Why? Oh, nothing. Look, I'm, I'm uh, sure it's fine. Listen, she, how's you, how's your mum? I haven't seen her for she ages. She said I'd be right as rain. She only wants me under observation for look, 24 hours. This means I'm sure it's fine. Yeah. Really? I can't have a glass of water. Well, look, you probably can, but I just need to find the doctor and ask her. She's not here, so I'll, I'll just nip, nip out. Denise. Denise, wake up. Can someone find the doctor? Denise, come on, wake up. Oh, for God's sake, where is she? Can we have the doctor, please? It's an emergency. Denise, come on, wake up. Wake up, Denise. You've got to stay awake. Come on. What's wrong? Well, she's just blacked out. How long has she been like this? Well, only a few seconds. I just looked away and she passed out. Denise, can you hear me? It's the doctor. Oh, damn, I must have missed something. Could be internal injuries. Is she going to be all right? Chris, is it? Yeah. You might just to save this woman's life. Ah, uh, this is a wasted effort, Croydon. It's not doing anyone any good. At least we're trying to do something. Is that the lot of it? I'm afraid not. These luggage compartments only go halfway down. The ones on the other side, we can't get to them. They're blocked. Which means I can't ensure that the bus is safe. Oh, come on, Russ. We've got over half the luggage out. It's a sealed compartment, for God's sake. Look, cutting her out is still playing Russian roulette with my men's lives. So all you've done is shorten the odds. There's got to be something else we can do. Campbell's probably right. Yeah, maybe we're looking at this the wrong way. Somebody on that bus was the courier. They're bringing chemicals up from Melbourne. If we can find the courier, it might save us some time. Let's just hope he's not lying dead under a tarp in there. Well, let's start with the people we don't know. See if anybody's got four. Yeah. Uh, divide up the list and start checking through the name. Well, most of them are from Mount Thomas. Yeah, I know. That's what makes it so hard to accept. Unless we're looking for someone who's not local. Someone who doesn't belong. Maggie, take this list and shot to Chris, will you? How's my patient? Okay. I was just coming to get you, Doctor. BB's 80. Let's hope your colleagues find what they're looking for. Just those three, apart from Molly, everyone else comes from or has family in Mount Thomas. You're feeling certain of that? Oh, yeah. Okay. Does it help? Tough. Billings? It's one of the dead, Tom. No one on the bus had priors for drugs either. Could be anyone. Well, it's unlikely to be a muddy. I mean, think about it. If you're going to transport volatile chemicals, would you do it with a bunch of footy players out on the team? Norton, isn't he the... Yeah, he's the nurse. He's on the bus right now. And he refused to leave. We need to have a talk to Norton and we need to move all the hand luggage. I'll get onto it. Yeah, all right. Uh, just don't alarm Lawson. Not until we know. Yeah. Remember the day we met? I scraped my knee. You gave me your anesthetic for. Right out of my mouth. This isn't a scraped knee, Jack. You're going to be fine. You're going to be better than ever. Mr. Norton. I think you might be able to help us, mate. I mean, where were you seated when the bus came to crash? Ah, uh, just, just about one back from there. Right. Any sign? No, Jack. I'm afraid we're going to have to go through the bag on this bus. Did you have any hand luggage? Uh, no. No, no, I didn't. What's this? Initials RN, Rod Norton. What's in this case? I've never seen that before. You tell me what's in this case. I've never seen it before in my you life. You tell me about the chemicals that are on this bus. What chemicals? I don't know anything about any chemicals. What's going on?
Norton admitted that he was meeting somebody, but he didn't know anything about the chemicals. And you left him on the bus? He kept it pretty low key, and he's not going anywhere anyway. So he wasn't transporting chemicals up here. He was meeting Palmer and Bison. Well, so you're saying there are no chemicals here? Well, not on the bus, no. Then they've been in Palmer's car all the time, then. Which finally gives us a bit of space, thank God. No, if they're in the car, they're still too damn close. It was you all along, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Jack, if you just give me a chance to explain. You're working for some drug mob. I wasn't working for them. I... They asked me to do this one little thing. Just take this suitcase to some country town and swap it for another suitcase. That's all I know. I owed them a lot of money from gambling. This was the only way out. Jack, I swear I didn't know what was in the suitcase. If you'd come clean, she would have been in hospital an hour ago. This danger that everyone was talking about, I thought it was from fuel or something. I never dreamt it had anything to do with me. I never wanted to hurt anybody. Don't you touch her. What the hell is going on? I've got a critical patient in there. Why the delay? Well, it's still not safe. Oh. But it's going to be. Sam, get ready to go back on the bus. The rest of you want a bit of crowd control. Croydon. Boss. Croydon! What's behind this levee bank? Uh, it's a drainage canal. Okay, stay here. Boss. Stay there. Get that girl out of the bus. It's all right, Molly. We'll get you out of here in just a minute. Mr. Norton, I need you to come with me, please. I'm sorry. I hope she... Cut her out. Get her to the hospital. We're gonna try. It's just been a long delay, okay? I just want to prepare you. Shut. Sure. Oh, I'm right here. Don't leave. I won't leave you. Not ever. church wedding. Oh, white dress. Bridesmaids. Yeah, all the Swiss Creek's gonna be there. I wanna go to the church in a horse and carriage. <laughs> then after that, Back to Mount Thomas. Save up for a deposit on the house. They're going to be happy.
Lots of room for kids. Lots of kids. Whatever you want. Would have been nice. Thanks for your help, Doctor. Sorry, I can't remember your name. Oh, Melanie Carter. Call me Mel. Anyone who calls me Melanie ends up on my hit list. I don't think we would have got through the night without you. I'm really glad you happened by. Oh, I didn't happen by. I signed on for a year at Mount Thomas Hospital. Mm. Yeah, after tonight, it feels like I've been here for a year already. Welcome to Mount Thomas. Thanks. Sorry we had to meet like this. They say that things look better in the daylight, but I'm not so sure. Thanks for being here tonight. It's all right. It didn't make much difference. <sighs> Did to me. <laughs> See ya. Yeah. Tom, listen, mate, a couple of the blokes are having a bit of a whinge about the way I handle things. Is that right? Yeah, talking about getting me chucked out. What does he want me to do, Russ? Well, I just want you to understand that I was following correct operational procedure. I mean, what happened? There's, there's nothing else I could have done. Except behave like a decent human being. The silence is worse. Yeah, it's only just hit me. Last night, taking all of those people out of the bus, you don't have time to think about it. It's only when you stop that you realise what people have lost. Boss, I don't suppose you could pull a few strings and get the crooks to take a day off or we all get some sleep, would you? Well, even if I did, I doubt if Inspector Falcon Price would agree. Still, I think I could look the other way if you wanted to go home and clean up and come back at about midday. Boss. About what I said on the bus? What, when I said I'd clobber you? It's been a terrible night, son. I think your imagination's run away with you. Listen, my hearing is still pretty good. I think I'd know if you'd said something remotely like that. She was beautiful, Jack. She wasn't there. 
she wasn't there anymore. Oh, the beautiful girl I used to hold. I lied to her. No, Jack. Yeah, no, I lied. The last thing I said to her before she died. <laughs> that was a lie. We weren't going to get married. <laughs> we weren't going to have kids. <laughs> no, Jack, you said goodbye. You told her what she needed to hear. Those words weren't a lie. They were a gift. Jack, can I get your signature there, mate? Oi! Wake up, Australia. Oh, sorry, sorry mate. Bad news? Uh, no, no, no. It's uh, Molly. She's coming to town. So is this good news or bad news? Joe, these two go back to when they're in nappies. Yeah, no, if they go back, that's not the point. So? There are some things you just can't go back to. Yeah, I yeah, know. So why is she coming to town, mate? Uh, uh she's uh, said something about us getting back together. Maybe she never got over the old Lawson charm, Yeah, eh? probably. <laughs> Dead. Stupid bastard. So what do you know about it, Dougie? Nothing. Looks like he blew himself up. So? He burnt the house down cooking up drugs. Which is easy to do if you mix the wrong chemicals. Nothing to do with oh, me. Oh, come on, Dougie. Mitch is a mate of yours. He sets up a speed lab. What, he doesn't tell you about it? I don't know anything about it. Well, a cook-up is a pretty big operation and he didn't do this on his own. Look! And you have got form, my friend. Look, Mitch might have mentioned it to me. I told him I wasn't interested. That's the truth. Drug squad are on their way up to investigate this. If you won't tell us, you can talk to them and you know how persistent they can be. I might have... I heard him say something. I didn't tell you this, right? I can't make any promises. I did hear that Mitch was talking to someone about setting up a lab. Mm -hmm. And we need a name. Graham Palmer. Where'd you go, Dougie? Uh, we got a name, Graham Palmer. Palmer? I thought he'd gone back to Melbourne. Oh. I'll go and pick him up if you want. Yeah, I'll take Doyle when she's finished in here. Yeah, sure. uh, we've got an address as well. Parish, put a keep a look out for on Palmer, will you? Yeah, right. We still on for tonight, Joe? Mudlock's work, yeah, sure. Why? No reason. Stretch, your love life is none of my business, all right? I don't know, Ben. I think it'd be really hard to walk away from someone who'd been so much part of your life. Even if there's interest with somebody else? Yeah, but there's a shared history there. I mean, Jack might think that he's over Molly, but I don't know. And it's Palmer's car. Yep. Mount Thomas 253 to VKC. Go ahead, Mount Thomas 253. We are in pursuit of Palmer heading east on Ketcher's Gorge Road. Yeah, he's just turned into the St David's Road. We're heading south in pursuit towards Melbourne. Well, if the St David's unit can set up a roadblock here, he's got nowhere to go. There's nothing but dead ends all the way to the Diggers Reef exit. He's going way too fast. 130. He's all over the road. 140. No, we're going to have to terminate this pursuit. Maggie, watch out. Fico set to Mount Thomas 253. Mount Thomas 253. Mount Thomas 900 to VKC. Go ahead, 900. Mount Thomas 509 is just leaving the station en route to the last. Receive that. VKC to Mount Thomas 253. Come on, Maggie. Are you all right? Yeah. I can't get this door open, mate. Right? Get out this way and I'll give you a hand. Are you sure you're going to be OK? Yeah. Oh, my God. You get on the radio. I'll check the bus. 